Hi students, welcome back. Let's see some more examples to check whether the given grammar is having the ambiguity or not. Okay, we need to check whether this grammar is ambiguous or not. How? So first step is, let's take one string. For the given string, for the string A, within parenthesis A, A. I, I'm taking this string. Okay, because uh, this production can, uh, this string can be derived by using this production. So, the above grammar can generate two parts three. It can generate, it can generate two parts three. So, let's see, is it generating two parts three or not? If it is not generating two parts three, then we can say it is not an ambiguous grammar. But here it is generating two parts three. So, let's see. So, first take the start symbol that is a A here. It is a start symbol. So, the A is replaced with the substituted with A A. So, we have to check this string. So, here again this A I am replacing with substituting with A A. So, in place of A I am writing small a because this will be there. So, in the second A. So, this is a leftmost derivation. So, the first non-terminal is over. So, next coming to this, this is the next non-terminal. After that, this is the next non-terminal. So, first come here. This is a non-terminal. So, I am replacing A with again with the first rule. A, A. So, in this A, I am replacing with, in place of A, I am replacing with, within brackets A. Okay. Finally, in place of A, I am writing small a. Be I need to check this string. Okay, I got a and a within parenthesis. So, next I am replacing with uh, non-terminal with terminal a and here is also a. So, did I get the string? Yes. So, see here a, a, a. I derived the string. So, this is leftmost derivation I use. So, the same string uh, can be represented in another form. Let's see that form. Okay, so here A, A, A. So, this is the leftmost derivation. First, I will concentrate on this first non-terminal. So, here I am just replacing the starting string that it, uh, the symbol is A. So, here I am just simply writing A and this A, I am substituting with again A, A. Again, this A, I am substituting with A, A. And this will be replaced with the A within parenthesis. And A is replaced with the terminal A. And this is replaced with A. And this is replaced with A. Okay. So, the same string I got as an output. So, but the pattern is different. So, this is looking here it is in uh, represented like this and this is represented like this. Okay. So, here I generated two parse trees. Since there are two parse trees, the grammar is ambiguous grammar. I can clearly say that the grammar is the ambiguous grammar. You will get it out. Why ma'am? Only for this string, it is, um, uh, this string, is, I uh, whatever the string that I taken, that only representing uh, ambiguous, not the production rules. No, whatever the string that this grammar can be derived, those strings are declared the, the given grammar is having ambiguity. If you have a doubt, let me take one more example. Uh, so, instead of uh, this, I am taking, let me take A, A. Okay, let me take this string. Let's check. Is this uh, string is uh, giving, uh, sorry, proving that the given grammar is ambiguous or not? So, starts with this A. So, again A. A. So, this A is replaced with the A and this is small a. Again, this A is replaced with the A and this will be replaced with the, this production because A determines a second rule. Okay. And this will be replaced with the and this is A. So, did, did you get this string? A, A within parenthesis A, A within parenthesis A and A. So, this uh, string I can represent it in another way also. See here. A, A, A. So, this 
So first leftmost derivation. So I replaced a with small a according to the third rule. Okay. So next a and this time I am taking this a within parenthesis. Again this is I am dividing into a is replaced with a a and here a within parenthesis. So this will be replaced with small a small a and a. The same string you got. But the pattern is different. I hope you understand. Okay. So whatever the string that derives this context free that can be represented uh, in a pass tree by using this context free grammar. Uh, so those strings. Not uh, the grammar that it is show, uh, showing different types of parse trees. That grammar is an ambiguous grammar. So whatever the derived string for the given uh, productions you take. So this grammar generating two parts trees. I hope you understand clearly what is an ambiguous. Thank you.